The stage is a place of emotion, where artists and performers give their all to share their passion with the world. But believe it or not, the history of performance is dotted with tales of artists who have taken their last breath while performing. From the soulful melodies of jazz greats to the captivating illusions of world-class magicians, the phenomenon of performers passing away on stage is not a rare but real occurrence. Please watch the entire video to find out who they are. Number 32. Lil Hardin Armstrong Lil Hardin Armstrong was a renowned pianist, composer, and arranger who was also the second wife of Louis Armstrong. Lil Hardin Armstrong was a significant figure in the jazz world. Her contributions were instrumental in shaping the genre during its formative years. Her formidable talent marked her career as a pianist and her knack for composition and arrangement which played a crucial role in the success of Louis Armstrong's Hot 5 and Hot 7 recordings in the 1920s. Lil Hart and Armstrong's life and career were deeply intertwined with the evolution of jazz and she remained active in the music scene long after her separation from Louis Armstrong. Tragically, her dedication to the music and the memory of Louis Armstrong was underscored in the most poignant way possible. During a performance at a memorial concert for Louis Armstrong in 1971, Lil Hardin Armstrong collapsed on stage, a moment that caused a terrible obsession for the audience. Her collapse, attributed to a heart attack, underscores the intense physical and emotional energy artists often pour into their performances. This event not only marked the end of Lil Hardin Armstrong's illustrious career, but also served as a somber reminder of the sacrifices artists make in the pursuit of their craft. Her legacy, however, remains unblemished, her contributions to jazz enduring through the music she created and the influence she had on one of the most celebrated musicians of the 20th century and the genre as a whole. Number 31, Warren Marsh. Warren Marsh, an acclaimed saxophonist known for his contributions to the world of jazz, met an unexpected and tragic end that left a profound impact on the music community. Marsh was not just any musician. It was a member of Super Sax, a celebrated ensemble revered for its intricate and harmonious arrangements of Charlie Parker's bebop solos orchestrated for a full saxophone section. His mastery of the tenor saxophone coupled with his unique improvisational style, cemented his place among the jazz greats. The incident occurred at Dante's, a well-known jazz club that served as a staple venue for jazz aficionados and musicians alike. It was here, during a performance, that Warren Marsh collapsed while playing Out of Nowhere, a jazz standard that ironically speaks to the unexpected nature of his demise. The song, with its melodic complexities and improvisational potential, was a fitting backdrop to Marsh's final moments, showcasing his talent even in his last breath. Marsh's sudden death on stage, while deeply tragic, underscored the passion and dedication he had for his art. Marsh's contributions to jazz, particularly his work with super sax and his innovative approach to saxophone playing, continue to resonate with musicians and enthusiasts. Over the years, Several artists have tragically passed away doing what they love, their final moments spent on stage, leaving behind a legacy tinged with both admiration and sorrow. Number 30. Molière One of the earliest and most notable instances involved the French actor and playwright Molière, born Jean-Baptiste Poquelin. Renowned for his sharp wit and incisive satires, Molière suffered from tuberculosis. Despite his decline in health, he continued to perform, meeting his end during a production of Le Malais d'Imaginé, The Imaginary Invalid. This play ironically explores themes of health and hypochondria. His death on stage in 1673 remains one of the most poignant reminders of an artist's dedication to their craft. Number 29. Lee Morgan the jazz world was shocked by the tragic death of Lee Morgan, a trumpeter known for his virtuosic skill and innovative contributions to the genre. In a heartbreaking turn of events, Morgan was shot by his common-law wife during a performance in New York. The heavy snowfall that night delayed the arrival of ambulances, and Morgan ultimately succumbed to his injuries at the venue. 
His death not only robbed the jazz community of one of its brightest stars, but also underscored the personal turmoil that can exist behind public personas. Number 28, Mika Ben. More recently, the Haitian singer Mika Ben, Michael Benjamin, passed away in a manner that echoes the sudden departures of his artistic predecessors. On October 15, 2022, while performing in Paris, Mika Ben collapsed as he exited the stage, later suspected to have suffered a heart attack. At just 41 years old, his death was a shocking loss to the music world. Mika Ben was performing at the Accor Arena, a venue capable of holding 20,000 attendees, showcasing the immense popularity and draw of the artist. He was there as a guest of Karimi, a famous Haitian group, illustrating the deep connections and respect he held within the music community. However, as he made his way off stage, still engaging with fans, he collapsed after suffering what was described as a seizure. Despite the swift response from emergency services, Mika Ben's life could not be saved. The news of Mika Ben's untimely death sent shockwaves through the music industry and beyond. Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry expressed his astonishment and sorrow over the loss of such a young and talented artist, reflecting the sentiments of an entire nation. Meanwhile, Wyclef Jean, a globally recognized musician and fellow Haitian, described Mika Ben as one of the most influential and inspirational young artists of our generation. Number 27, Tiny Tim. An equally tragic death was that of Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim is an American musician known for his ukulele performances and high falsetto voice. His rendition of Tiptoe Through the Tulips became iconic, earning him a unique place in the annals of music history. The song, with its somewhat eerie melody, gained a new life as a horror hit, especially after being featured in modern media. Tiny Tim's stage persona and musical style were anything but conventional, making him a memorable figure in the music industry. His performances were characterized by a blend of novelty acts, old-time vaudeville, and genuine musical talent. Tragically, Tiny Tim's life came to a sudden end in a manner as dramatic as his performances. During a benefit concert, while performing his signature song, Tiptoe Through the Tulips, he collapsed and was rushed to the hospital. Despite efforts to save him, Tiny Tim passed away just a few hours later, leaving behind a legacy that was as much about his peculiar and enduring personality as it was about his music. Number 26, Tommy Cooper. Next up is Tommy Cooper, a beloved Welsh comedian known for his distinctive fez and unique blend of magic and comedy who met a tragic end on live television. In April 1984, during a performance of Live from Her Majesty's, Cooper suffered a heart attack on stage. Initially, the audience and viewers at home believed it to be a part of his act known for its slapstick and unpredictability. Sadly, it was quickly realized that the situation was gravely serious, and Cooper had indeed passed away, leaving the entertainment world in shock and mourning. Number 25, Lionel Hampton. Lionel Hampton is an iconic jazz vibraphonist, pianist, percussionist, and bandleader. His contribution to jazz cannot be overstated, known for his energetic performances and as a pioneer on the vibraphone. Hampton's life and music ended during a celebration of his remarkable journey, reportedly collapsing on stage during an event marking his 70th birthday.
Number 24. Sib Hashian. Sib Hashian, the drummer for the rock band Boston, known for their monumental debut album and classic hits like More Than a Feeling, died in a similarly unexpected and public manner. In March 2017, while performing aboard a cruise ship, Hashian collapsed mid-performance. Despite immediate efforts to assist him, Hashian was pronounced dead, a loss that resonated deeply with fans of the band and the wide music community. Number 23, Alan Marshall. Do you have any idea about a distinguished actor known for his work both on film and stage? It is Alan Marshall who met an untimely demise that shocked the theatrical community. During a performance of Sextet, Marshall suffered a heart attack on stage, a tragic event that marked a sudden end to his prolific career. Marshall's passing highlighted the vulnerabilities artists faced reminding us of the thin line between life and the passionate pursuit of art. Number 22. Mark Sandman Similarly, Mark Sandman, the frontman of the innovative rock band Morphine, left the world in a similarly abrupt and tragic manner. Known for his deep voice, distinctive two-string bass guitar, and unique approach to music, Sandman suffered a heart attack during a performance at the Giardini del Principe Festival in Italy. His death en route to the hospital was a profound loss to the music world, cutting short the career of a musician celebrated for his creativity and boundary-pushing sound. Number 21, Kirill Detzel Tomatsky. In 2019, the music industry mourned the loss of a Russian rapper, Kirill Detzel Tomatsky, who died after suffering a heart attack shortly after stepping off stage. At just 35 years old, his death is a stark reminder of the unexpected and often unseen pressures faced by performers. Their untimely deaths evoke a sense of loss and a deep appreciation for their contributions to the arts. The losses of Louis Vierne, Dimebag Darrow, Joseph Kielberth, and Felix Motto are the next tragic examples of artists who met untimely ends while pursuing their passions. Number 20. Louis Vierne Louis Vierne, celebrated for his extraordinary skill as the resident organist at the Notre Dame Cathedral, suffered a fatal heart attack during what would be his final concert. Performing before an audience of 3,000 people, Vierne's demise was as dramatic as it was unexpected, marking the end of a luminous career in music. His contribution to the world of classical music, especially his compositions for the organ, continues to be revered by musicians and enthusiasts alike. Number 19. Dimebag Darrell Dimebag Darrell, the iconic guitarist for Pantera and Damage Plan, met a violent end that shocked the music community and fans worldwide. During a Damage Plan concert in 2004, Darrell was tragically shot and killed by an assailant who managed to sneak into the venue. His death not only robbed the world of a highly influential musician, but also highlighted the sometimes dangerous intersection of public exposure and personal vulnerability that artists face. Number 18. Joseph Kilberth and Felix Model. The world of classical music bears its tales of tragedy, with Joseph Kilberth and Felix Model both collapsing while conducting Wagner's Tristan und Isolde eerily in the same place, though years apart. Kilberth's collapse in 1968 and Model's in 1911 underscored the intense physical and emotional demands placed on conductors, 
Their deaths, occurring as they led one of opera's most challenging pieces, remind us of these artists' profound dedication to their craft. Number 17, Costa Titch. The sudden death of South African rapper Costa Titch on March 12, 2023, has sent shockwaves through the music industry and among fans worldwide. At just 28 years old, his untimely passing during a performance at the Ultra South Africa Music Festival in Johannesburg has left a profound void in the world of ama piano music, a genre in which he had rapidly become one of the contemporary stars. The incident, which was captured in social media footage, showed Costa Titch collapsing on stage, an event that stunned attendees and those watching online. Despite attempts to continue his performance, he fell again, leading to immediate concern from those around him and the festival's emergency responders. The statement from his family, shared on his Instagram, expressed deep sorrow and gratitude towards those who were with him during his final moments, though it did not specify a cause of death. Number 16, Big Pokey. The sudden death of Houston rapper Big Pokey, real name Milton Powell, at the age of 45 has left the music community and his fans in deep mourning. Known for his contributions to the Texas rap scene and as a key figure in the screwed up click, Big Pokey's unexpected passing during a performance in Beaumont, Texas has underscored the fragility of life. The incident occurred late on June 17, 2023, when Big Pokey, mid-performance, experienced a fall that would shock those present and ultimately lead to his untimely death. Captured in video footage, the moment shows him taking a deep breath before tipping backward and collapsing, a scene that quickly turned from confusion to alarm among the audience. The immediate response from a nurse in attendance and the subsequent arrival of emergency services highlighted the urgency of the situation. Despite their efforts, Big Pokey was transported to the hospital where he sadly passed away. Number 15. Oliveira the passing of Oliveira, who died of a heart attack at the age of 77 while performing on stage in Rio de Janeiro on September 17, 2017, marks a poignant moment that underscores the unpredictable nature of life, even amid artistic expression. While specific details about Oliveira's career or background aren't provided, the circumstance of his passing on stage in the act of performing highlights the deep dedication and passion artists often have for their craft. The city of Rio de Janeiro, known for its vibrant cultural scene and as a hub for various forms of artistic expression, from music to theater, provides a poignant backdrop to this event. Oliveira's passing in such a setting underscores the impact that artists can have on their communities and the spaces they inhabit and transform through their work. Though Oliveira's name may not be widely recognized internationally, the circumstances of his passing serves as a reminder of the universal themes of passion, dedication, and the impermanence of life. It also highlights the importance of celebrating and supporting artists who, like Oliveira, dedicate their lives to sharing their gifts with the world, often under challenging circumstances. Number 14, John Taylor. John Taylor, a revered jazz pianist known for his sophisticated technique and nuanced compositions, tragically passed away following a heart attack he suffered during a performance at the Savier Jazz Festival in 2015. His sudden death at the hospital thereafter marked the loss of a significant figure in the jazz community. Taylor was celebrated for his contributions to the genre, both as a solo artist and as a collaborator with some of jazz's most esteemed musicians. 
His work spanned decades, during which he showcased a remarkable ability to blend lyrical improvisation with complex harmonic structures, earning him acclaim not just among peers, but also from jazz enthusiasts around the world. The loss of John Taylor was felt deeply within the jazz community, a reminder of the impact one individual can have on the evolution of a genre. As we remember him, we celebrate not only his technical mastery and creativity, but also his contributions to the fabric of jazz, which will resonate for generations to come. Number 13. Brandon Lee Surely you still remember the death of Brandon Lee, the son of martial arts legend Bruce Lee. Brandon tragically passed away on the set of The Crow in 1993 due to an accident involving a faulty prop gun. He was only 28 years old at the time of his death. The incident occurred during the filming of a scene in which his character was supposed to be shot. Due to a series of mishaps and miscommunications, the prop gun, which was supposed to be safe, contained a fragment of a real bullet that fatally wounded Lee. Brandon Lee's death was a shocking and heartbreaking event that led to increased scrutiny and changes in the handling of firearms on film sets to ensure such a tragedy would not happen again. Despite his untimely passing, the Pro was completed using digital effects and stunt doubles, and it was released posthumously in 1994. The film has since become a cult classic, remembered not only for its dark, atmospheric storytelling and visual style, but also as a poignant reminder of Lee's talent and potential. Lee's legacy continues to be honored by fans of his work and of his father, both of whom left indelible marks on the worlds of film and martial arts. Number 12. Owen Hart Owen Hart, a celebrated wrestler known for his charismatic presence and athletic prowess in the ring during the 90s, met a tragic end in an accident that shocked the wrestling world. On May 23, 1999, during a live pay-per-view event called Over the Edge, held at the Kemper Arena in Kansas City, Missouri, Hart was involved in a stunt that went disastrously wrong. Scheduled to make an aerial entrance to the ring from the ceiling, Hart fell 78 feet due to equipment failure. The fall resulted in Hart being critically injured, and despite immediate medical attention, he was declared dead upon arrival at the hospital. The incident was a somber moment in professional wrestling history, leading to widespread scrutiny over the safety measures in wrestling events and stunts. Owen's Hart's death not only left a void in the hearts of his family, friends, and fans, but also raised important questions about the risks performers take for entertainment. Number 11. Leslie Harvey in 1972, the music world mourned the loss of Leslie Harvey, a talented guitarist known for his work with the band Stone the Crows. Harvey tragically died at the age of 27 after being electrocuted on stage when he touched a live microphone with improperly grounded equipment. This incident occurred during a sound check, casting a shadow over the music industry and highlighting the importance of electrical safety at live performances. Number 10. Leonard Warren Leonard Warren, a revered opera baritone, met a dramatic and tragic end in 1960 after performing Erna Fatale del Mio Destino from Verdi's La Forza del Destino at the Metropolitan Opera in New York. Warren collapsed and died on stage, leaving the opera community in shock. His death was attributed to a cerebral hemorrhage, marking a poignant and sorrowful moment in operatic history. Number 9. William Ellsworth Robinson William Ellsworth Robinson, who performed under the stage name Chung Ling Su, was a magician famous for his bullet catch trick. 
In a tragic turn of events in 1918, Robinson was fatally injured during a performance in London when the trick went awry and a bullet was fired into his lung. His death unveiled his true identity as he had been masquerading as a Chinese performer, contributing to his mystique and legend in the world of magic. Number 8. Mitsuharu Misawa Mitsuharu Misawa, a legendary figure in Japanese professional wrestling, died in 2009 after a tragic accident in the ring. During a match, Misawa suffered a severe spinal injury that led to cardiac arrest, and he was pronounced dead later that evening. His death sent shockwaves through the wrestling world, underscoring the physical risks associated with the sport. Misawa was celebrated for his contributions to wrestling, both as a performer and as a promoter, and his legacy continues to influence the industry. These individuals, each a master in their field, left behind legacies that continue to inspire and resonate. Number 7. Ericsson Ericsson, once hailed as one of Sweden's most celebrated stand-up comedians, met an untimely demise while performing in his show, Fira Lik Liga Man 2. His sudden collapse on stage left fans and the comedy community in shock, marking a poignant moment in Sweden's entertainment history. The details surrounding his death are a stark reminder of the pressures and unpredictability faced by performers. Number 6. Eric Morakambe Eric Morakambe, one half of the beloved British comedy duo Morakambe and Wise, suffered a fatal heart attack shortly after leaving the stage at the Roses Theatre in England. Known for their remarkable chemistry and timeless humor, Morakambe's death marked the end of a legendary partnership that brought laughter to millions. His contribution to British comedy remained celebrated, with his work continuing to inspire comedians and entertain audiences. Number 5. P.C. Sorkar P.C. Sorkar, a renowned magician known for captivating audiences in India and around the world, tragically passed away from a heart attack during a performance in Hokkaido, Japan in 1971. Sorkar was a pioneer in the world of magic, bringing Indian mysticism and innovative illusions to the global stage. His death was a significant loss to the magic community, but his legacy lives on through his contributions to the art form and the generations of magicians he inspired. Number 4. Papa Wemba the Congolese music scene mourned the loss of a beloved musician, Papa Wemba, who collapsed during a performance in the Ivory Coast at the age of 66. His sudden passing while sharing his art with the world is a somber reminder of the passion and dedication artists have for their craft, often performing under challenging conditions. The identity of the musician and the circumstances of his death highlights the diverse and rich musical heritage of Congo, which has significantly influenced African music and beyond. Number 3. Frederick Federici A British bass baritone, Frederick Federici's final performance ended dramatically when he suffered a heart attack immediately after delivering his last note, collapsing through a trapdoor on stage. The sudden loss of such a talented vocalist was a stark reminder of the physical demands placed on opera singers and the intensity of live performances. Number 2. Sid James 
Sid James, a cherished British actor renowned for his roles in the Carry On film series, met a sudden end during the opening night of the play The Maiden Season in 1976. James, known for his distinctive laugh and everyman charm, collapsed on stage due to a heart attack, passing away at the age of 62. His death on stage was a somber event for fans and fellow actors alike, marking the loss of a comedic talent who had brought laughter to many. Number 1. David Burns David Burns, a celebrated Broadway star, died at the age of 68 during a tryout performance of 70 Girls 70 in Philadelphia. Burns' passing was a significant loss to the theater community given his contributions to Broadway and the impact he had on audiences through his performances. His career, filled with notable roles and accolades, highlighted his talent and dedication to the craft of acting. Artist's final moments on stage or shortly after performing serve as a powerful reminder of their commitment to their professions. While their untimely deaths were deeply felt losses, the legacies they left behind in film, opera, theater, etc. continue to inspire and entertain audiences around the world, celebrating the enduring spirits and talent of these remarkable performers. That's it from me, but I do hope you all enjoyed. Are there any names you know that we haven't mentioned? Please comment below and let us know. See you in the next video and remember to follow the channel to see more interesting information. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.